फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट नाउ आई कम टू दिस गवर्निंग क्लोज विच आई जस्ट रेफर्ड टू विद रिगार्ड टू द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान नेमली दैट द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन द फिजिकल नीड्स ऑफ द पीपल यू विल रिमेंबर दैट ये स्टर्डे द प्रेजिडेंट ऑल्सो एम्फासाइज द नसेसिटी फॉर बेसिंग प्लानिंग ऑन द पीपल्स फिजिकल नीड्स आवर फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा एंड द मटीरियल वी हैड एट आवर डिस्पोजल एज वेल एज ओन थिंग्स दैट वर एक्चुअली बींग डन एट द टाइम टेक दीज बिग रिवर वैली स्कीम्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स वर डन एट द टाइम एंड वी हैड नो चॉइस बट टू कॉन्टिन्यू दैम we had to accept what had been done of course we added one or two new schemes and rearranged the priorities that is to say our plan was largely based on the finances available and consisted in taking up those schemes which were most useful but it was limited planning not planning in the real sense of the word the conception of planning today is not to think of the money we have and then to divide it up in the various schemes but to measure the physical needs that is to say how much of food the people want how much of clothes they want how much of housing they want how much of education they want how much of health services they want how much of work and employment they want and so on we calculate all these and then decide what everyone in india should have of these things once we do that we can set about increasing production and fulfilling these needs it is not a simple matter because in calculating the needs of the people we have to calculate on the basis not only of an increasing population but of increasing needs i shall give you an instance let us take sugar our people now consume much more sugar than they used to with the result that our calculations about sugar production went wrong now why do they eat more sugar evidently because they are better off if a man getting a 100 rupees finds his income increased to a 150 he will eat more sugar buy more cloth and so on therefore in making calculations 
we have to keep in mind that the extra money that goes increases consumption and thereby higher needs of goods then we decide how to produce those things in india in order to meet a particular variety of needs we have now to put up a factory which will produce the goods that we need 5 years hence thus planning is a much more complicated process than merely drawing up some schemes and fixing a system of priorities behind all this is another factor finance finance is important but not so important as people think what is really important is drawing up the physical needs of the people and then working to produce things which will fulfill such needs if you are producing wealth it does not matter very much if you have some deficit financing because you are actually putting money back through goods and services therefore it does not matter how you manipulate your currency so long as your production is also keeping pace with it of course there is the fear of inflation we must avoid it but there is no such fear at present in india on the other hand there is deflation nevertheless we have to guard against inflation we have to produce the equivalent of the money pumped in sometimes there is a gap between investment and production when inflation sets in for example let us say we put in a 100 crores of rupees in a river valley scheme which takes 7 or 8 years to build during the years it is being built we get nothing out of it but expenditure this can be balanced in cottage industries in which the gap in time is not large the additional money that you have put in is not locked up for long therefore in planning we have to balance heavy industry light industry village industry and cottage industry we want heavy industry because without it we can never really be an independent country light industry too has become essential for us so has cottage industry i am putting forward this argument not from the gandhian ideal but because it is essential in order to balance heavy industry and to prevent the big gap between the pumping in of money and production but production is not all a man works and produces something because he expects others to consume what he produces if there is no consumption he stops production therefore whether it is a factory or a cottage unit 
कंजम्पन ऑफ वट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड शुड बी टेकन केयर ऑफ मास प्रोडक्शन इनएविटेबली इन्वॉल्व्स मास कंजम्पन विच इन टर्न इन्वॉल्व्स मैनी अदर फैक्टर्स चीफली द परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ द कंज्यूमर देयर फोर प्लानिंग मस्ट टेक नोट ऑफ द नीड टू प्रोवाइड मोर परचेजिंग पावर टू स्टोर